Well, good morning from uh, Big Daddy's Grill. <laughs> Last night I parked right there in front of this kind of tree shrub thing. There's a, uh, a river um, right down here and uh, a bunch of boats, uh, you know, a little dock area, a little boat ramp. And uh, yeah, Kyle set me up with the owners. I guess if you're passing through Alabama and you need a place to, to stay, give them a call. It's, um, it's over by Fairhope. So right now I'm gonna go meet up with uh, Kyle. We met in yesterday's video from uh, Driving and Vibing. And we're gonna go to Waffle House, which is my second time ever going to a Waffle House. Feel free to laugh in the comments. Thanks for the spot. It was yeah, super, super chill. That's awesome. <laughs> Great uh, little spot. Yeah, you can stay there a few more nights if you want to, but you know, yeah. not much to do in Alabama. So, so. I, I just said in the video to uh, to just contact the owner, I guess, if anybody's let, not sign up on that site, yeah. and then just call and ask. And that's it. And he does it through Boondockers Welcome as well. So if you're a member of Boondockers Welcome, you can find the site on there. But yeah, yeah he's a real nice guy that. Uh, likes to cater to the community. Cool, very cool. And then uh, uh, it's uh, like a paid thing, right? The Boondockers Welcome? Yeah, it is. I think it's like 39 bucks for a year. Oh, that's not bad. But, so we've used it like in Denver, in Portland, like in bigger cities we find that it's really good to, you know, for free camping in a driveway close I mean, to town. I mean, that's one night at a uh, campground, so it's totally worth it. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, man. Have you had Waffle House before? Uh, it's going to be my second time. Awesome. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia does not like it, so anytime I can go to Waffle House with somebody, yeah. I always take that opportunity. Oh, uh, that's amazing. Are you guys fans of Waffle House? <laughs> Throw a comment down below, because this is my second time. I don't even know, know what to order. Maybe a waffle, I guess, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like uh, I'm gonna say goodbye to Kyle. Unfortunately, didn't get a chance to hang out with uh, Olivia, uh, but hopefully next time. And yes. uh, hopefully we'll see you guys on the road. Definitely. Best of luck to you yeah. guys with the uh, renovation. Thank Keep you. up the good work on the vids. And if you guys haven't already, go on and check out their channel. Super rad people, uh, very interactive, and um, you know just good vibes all around. Okay. And thanks for eating Waffle House with me. I always like an excuse to eat Waffle House, so <laughs> I appreciate it. I gotta confess, I didn't have a waffle at Waffle House. <laughs> is, right. that, is that sad? religious <laughs> i think it's acceptable this time. all right all right guys we'll see y'all next time all right see you Hang dude on. later gonna take a quick uh commercial break to thank uh, a few more patrons uh thank you jason varner i appreciate you very much uh i think uh, this must be a uh, screen name uh finding me thank you very much i appreciate you uh and then we have another one from Dwayne and sherelia pandorf Thank you guys very much. It's much appreciated. Pensacola, Florida, and uh, couldn't help but notice when I was driving by this uh, gigantic, uh, looks like a s steam engine train, I think. Um, the Pride of Pensacola. I'm gonna guess and say yes, this is an old uh, steam engine. I don't think I've seen one uh, this you know, close before in person, but. Uh, that is pretty cool, huh? Anybody into trains? I know, you, I, know I used to like playing with them when I was a kid. Um, and if I rem remember correctly and common sense, this is where the uh, coal goes. And uh, yeah, and then fires the engine. The engine, you know, boils the water, burns the steam, and you know, choo choo, away they go. So that is pretty cool. Right on the main drag here in uh, Pensacola, Florida. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> you guys see what I see? That's right, it is a UFO house here in Pensacola, Florida. Apparently this thing has weathered many uh, hurricanes, even a tornado, bad weather. Uh, let me get some more fun facts for you. All right, so apparently this thing is uh, a Finnish design from Finland and uh, was designed in the late 60s, early 70s. It uh, apparently is designed to uh, lift up and float off and away and keep everyone safe in case there's some major flooding, which is uh, pretty common for this area. Roll out my window, can stand the fresh air So proud from the city, couldn't even compare See why people like Florida. Look at how beautiful this beach is. I don't know if I've ever been on a beach with whiter sand before. Well, maybe Miami, but this is absolutely stunning here. And uh, you know, I could see why uh, people choose to, to live in the land of hurricanes. There's also no state income taxes and uh, some other things which make it pretty nice. I think the, the water is pretty warm here, even though it's uh, still winter time. Um, doesn't really look all that, you know, nice for a surf though. It's uh, a little bit on the windy side here today. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is my first look at the Gulf of Mexico when it's actually a blue color and not brown like chocolate milk. some bizarre reason people are way nicer you know like when they know that you're from somewhere else if that makes any sense like if it's just some neighbor I don't know someone from the same town like I don't know like it's almost like you people have this innate you know sense um, or instinct to, to treat a, a, a traveler with with welcome arms so um, yeah, I was just thinking about that and I was like, wow. Looking back over the past year and a half of my travels, I've met such incredible people. And um, that is probably my favorite thing to being on the road. Mm -hmm. 